Shalom, shalom, yasha'ala. All right. This is Brother Shemak. All right. I want to first off give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that do rule well and teach well and have paid the way for the hopefully elect. All right. And that oversee the tabernacle of David. And those are the, are the elder and apostles of GMS, a great millstone. All right. And a uh, humble citation and greetings to the Akim that's pushing his truth and sincerity. All right. And, um, uh, at this time, we at this time right now. Um, what's the today's date? November nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. In a couple couple days, we had the uh, ungodly traditions of men coming up. Okay, with the with so called holidays. All right, so so called holidays, man. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, and we just want to re rebuke that sharp because it, truly, man, we just killing that spirit. We killing that damn spirit out here, man. Okay, because the prophets are back, all right? The prophets are back, man. Okay? And we just, in that spirit of, of Thanksgiving and Christmas is dead, man. We've been lied to our entire life, man. Okay? And it's truth, and it's, and it's gospel, it's truly for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? The elect, the hopeful elect of, the, of those, of by the seed of the Father, okay? Of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? The heathen, man, the non Israelite nations, man, you, you go kick rocks, man. It's not for you, all right? Y'all can keep celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas. We don't we don't give a damn, all right? But this is for the, the whole elect of Israelites, man, okay? All right, so in the um uh, I'll probably st start with this video cuz the video funny as hell, all right? So I'll probably start the video then I go into the scripture that sparked me to do this lesson through the through the Rakal Kadash, all right? Man, we've been we've been following these traditions of men our entire life until we until until Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah show mercy unto us to uh wake wake our wake our spiritual eye up from that darkness to light. Oh, that's the damn spirit. Look at this. Hold on. See, that's the spirit. Uh, this is Acts chapter twenty. It was on the, Acts chapter twenty six verse eighteen. I know it's a side note, but I had to get it real quick. It says to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. Okay, so see that darkness to light. We was in darkness when we was following these traditions of men. Okay, we thought it was cool. We didn't know no better. Okay, but he went. He but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Most High, through the name in the name of the Father. I mean, in the name of the Son. Okay, he he uh he he winked at our ignorance. Okay, and you can read with that uh pertaining to Acts seventeen and thirty. All right, he says from Satan because if you follow, if you follow these traditions of men, you you under the power of Satan and not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the one true the one true God. Okay. That they may receive forgiveness of sins, okay, and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me, okay. We are cleansed by faith, and that we may and we may have and that we may receive that mercy. You gotta you gotta believe that you can receive that reward, that mercy and forgiveness of sins, cause we all filthy rags, all right. But the but the scripture, uh, I was I just finished the book of Acts, uh, today, okay. I was, I was so lucky. Uh, the, the scripture that sparked me to do the lesson to rebuke this damn pagan pagan ass holidays was Acts chapter fifteen verse twenty nine. It says that ye abstain from meats offered to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication, from which ye keep yourselves. Ye shall do fare ye well. See, we're supposed to abstain from these meats offered to idols and these those it, you know those, and those meats and the, the, those feasts of meats, man. With Thanksgiving and Christmas, man, hell, hey, don't partake in that shit, man. Gonna, we gonna have to, as Israelites, man, as the prophets, as men of the Lord, okay, as servants of the Most High, we gonna have to fast, all right. That'd be that'd be the wise thing to do, okay, or do whatever you whatever you feel is need right to do in the spirit, whatever you got to do, man, all right. And it says, cause that's cause those are sanctified to idols, man. Oh, those are following false gods, man. Okay, different origins, man. We the Roman, the, these are these are traditions that the Romans uh that the followed, man. Okay, 
And then if if, if fornication, because if you you celebrate these traditions, man, you fornicating against your how about your outside, man. You spiritually fornicating, okay? If you do this, man. All right, let me get that uh, Amos, because he hate he hate the damn Thanksgiving and Christmas, man. All all your holidays, he he not fucking with none of that, man. Okay, and what, and if you can receive it, you can receive it. If you can't receive it, hey, so be it, man. We not we not here uh, to to speak smooth things, man. Not at all. All right. We thought it was right in the, when we was back in the world, man. But hey, it's time to wake up to the truth, man. It's, this this is the end, bro. We too we too late in the game for it to be be bullshitting around with just with these um vain ass holidays. Shit don't even mean nothing, bro. All right, just putting money in uh these damn in the in Esau pockets, the so called white man pockets, man. All right, but this is Amos chapter five verse twenty one. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I would not smell, and I would not smell in your solemn assemblies. See those, and he's saying your feast days because it's not, it's not a, of the Most High Yahweh about Shemiah It's not, it's not in the Bible. Thanksgiving, Christmas, not in the scriptures. Okay, though we are not supposed to, man. Come on, man. It's not, it's not a, a righteous tradition of the um, of of the Israelites, man. All right. It's not a righteous tradition on the Israelites, all right? But uh, I'll read it again. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell your solemn as assemblies. All right? He de he despised, man, Thanksgiving and Christmas, bro. He hate that shit. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, but hold on. Let me go to uh, Precept in Jeremiah 7, 7, 18, all right? It says the children gather wood and the and the fathers kindle the fire and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. All right, so that goes into that hate um, of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai hating these uh, holidays and the ones coming up. Currently, it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, man. All right, and what they say, gather the wood, kindle the fire. That, is that not what's go what's going on through these through these holidays, man? It says the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. All right. All the cookies and shit. Man, come on. Hey, all that. It's going to it's going to those um offerings unto other gods, man. All right, let's get in uh Jeremiah chapter 10, because that's the way of the heathen. And the heathen that's not Israelite nations, bro. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which Yahweh spake of unto you. O house of Israel, okay, this this truth, the whole Bible is only for one nation of people. It's only one. It's only for the Israelites, for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, not the Africans, not the Arabs, not so-called white men, not the Chinese, not Japanese, not Korean, not the yeah any nation outside of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Man, it's not for them. Simple as that. This truth is plain and simple. Verse two, thus said Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen and be and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay, it says learn not the way of the heathen, because that's this that's that's what they um traditions came up with. Okay? Verse three. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of hands of the workmen with the axe. And what and what is that going to? That's that Christmas, man. That Christmas tree in the house. Okay? Verse four. They decked it with silver and with gold. They fastened it with nails and with hammers, that it moved not. Okay? So they they done took the tree. Okay, decked it with silver and gold. It's nothing new under the sun, as a, as the scripture of Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 says. These traditions are nothing new under the sun, bro. These things been going on. Okay, decked it with silver and gold. And that's not, is that not what you do with uh with Christmas and Thanksgiving? Because with Thanksgiving, the damn tree already set up <laughs> in most houses. <laughs> Verse 5. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must needs to be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither. Also, is it them to do good? All right. And, um, I might as well go to the damn birthdays scripture, too, since we're on the holidays. Because uh, you really, with the birthdays, too, you put your, you put, you glorify yourself above your how about Shimei Yahusha. Okay? People don't give a damn. When they celebrate their birthday, they're not giving a damn about no damn. They don't, they not thinking about the most high. Okay? But it says, this is Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 14. It says, Cursed be the day where, wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my my mother, wherein my mother bear me be blessed, okay? Cause you really you celebrating your damn birthday. You had like you um, 
in, in the kingdom already or something. You're in freedom. But you still living the same old bullshit like you was living. Okay? You just glorify yourself. You think you free for that one day or whatever. You know how people say birthday months. So think you living your best life. Okay? We are under a curse right now, Goofy. You fucking Goofy. All right? But it said, uh, let me get a scripture out of 1 Samuel. All right? But this is just a, a simple message, man. Simple message. All right? First Samuel chapter 7, verse 3. And Samuel spake unto all of the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto Yahweh with all your hearts, and that hearts, and when it's taken through the scriptures, it's referring to your mind, okay? Then put away the strange the strange gods and Asheroth, uh, Asheroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto Yahweh, and serve him only. And he would deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines, okay? But because this was at the time where the Israelites was uh, being oppressed by the Philistines, okay? So-called Africans, okay? And, uh, serve Yahweh by Shemiah Shai only, okay? You cannot be lukewarm, man. You can't celebrate hol holidays and, still, and, and, and be an Israelite, man, okay? It don't work like that. It says serve him only. And, uh, first, let me go to Titus. That's one of some. This is just something quick, man. Just quick. Not, not taking up too much time. Or not. Oh, Titus chapter 1. Verse, yeah, I'm going to get Titus chapter 1, verse 14. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn that turn from the truth. Because Thanksgiving, birthdays, holiday, uh, Christmas, Valentine's Day, man, hey, whatever, hey, whatever you, whatever you, uh, holiday you could name, it's all commandments of men, okay? Is it, if it's not in the scriptures, man, it's commandments of men. All right, that turn from the truth, and what's the truth, man? This, the scriptures is the truth, man. All right, simple as that. And I played a, uh, I played a video again, just cause it's short and it's not uh, nothing longer or not. I played a video again. The, uh, after that video, cause you know you gonna hear most people say uh, when they ain't trying to hear when they ain't trying to hear that when you tell them the truth they gonna be like we just doing it for the for the family to come together for the children. I got something for that. All right, Matthew chapter ten verse thirty seven. It says, "He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me." Okay, you know why? How about me? I was don't give a damn. About how you how your kids feel, how your mama feel, how your dad feel. If you if you want to celebrate that, man, hey, so be it. Okay, it is what it is, man. Hey, you love your uh, father and mother or daughter and son more than the Most High. You not it's not worthy of you. Okay, I mean you're not worthy of Him. Okay, simple as that. I just reread it. Matthew chapter ten verse thirty seven. It says, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. All right? So that just goes to show you, man, Yahweh Shah is supposed to put, it's, it's supposed to be uh, put above your family members, man. Okay? Above, all right? It's order. We do, it's, everything is in order. Okay? But I think that's all I want to get uh, pertaining to the upcoming... Um, Traditions of men of the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas. All right, so I end off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that do rule well and teach well, and have paved the way for the hopeful elect. Okay, one hundred forty-four thousand. All right, and um, Shalom to the Akim. All right, keep the faith.